Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all the Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. And this is going to be the month of August. And I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It has been a wonderful, wonderful journey. And this is going to be a month of positive expectation. The world is governing your month, which is very wonderful. This month you have the energy of the hermit and the energy of the hermit is coming in as um, a wonderful, wonderful sort of a um, celebration because you will be empowering yourself and this is a wonderful energy. When we have the energy of empowerment, it is good. When we're looking at certain aspect in our um, life and who we are as a person and how far we are on our journeys we always have the energies of the hermit energies of the hermit is letting you know that there is going to be a significant change in our lives because we are going to be um, seeing and finding out who we are as a true spiritual being on this planet and this is very important so the energy of the hermit comes in which is wonderful um, the energy of the hermit is uh, the energy of um, you um, um, looking for answers within and connecting on a higher energy vibration level which is very wonderful um, it is the energy of water so it's going to be emotion because we're going to see things about ourselves that we weren't aware of and this sort of energy is going to come in so be prepared for whatever comes in um, because this is what your guides and angels want you to know the zodiac energies is going to be um, the in the beginning of the month fire and ending the month with the earth energy in this month we have five weeks and in these five weeks we have um, a significant uh, situation that is going on here in this five weeks and as I look to find out what is uh, the energy of uh, um, the number energy for you guys uh, there is so much there is um, nine and two that there is the number three which I've saw um, before I did the cards the number three energies is here um, the number three and the number eleven so we'll be working with three and eleven oh, 17 that will be and that's a nine that's an eight that's a five um, that's 18 so we have 3 and 11 that is very significant to um, 16 that's a 7 that is going to be significant to you so number 3 and number 11 number 3 is working together um, to um, build something and number 11 is a portal opening balance and the number 11 comes in the fourth week so be aware of that as we look at these five weeks so we have in the first week a heart energy and there you have a temperance balance in the second week we have the lovers which is extremely good and the lovers carries the energy of the world and the third week we have the tower in the fourth week we have justice and in the fifth week we have the moon this moon is an intuition moon so you don't have to worry about your enemies so as we look at um, the first week we have the energy of balance the energy of balance is an earth energy and this is very important for a lot of people um, balance is very important in this week and you have the energy of the Empress which is another earth sign so this is good whatever is happening in the first week for you um, Aries it is balancing your materialistic aspect there is a lot of blocks towards that a lot of people will feel a lot of blocks towards um, your manifesting your financial abundancy whatever you need to survive a lot of people are going to have that blocks in the first week whatever that situation is pray about it and ask the universal angels to show you the inner wisdom and light of how you can heal this block that has been placed against you between you and your financial aspect and your materialistic world okay so it's going to have an effect on a lot of people 
um, the emperor is the energy of stable bringing stable stability in your life in your material world and uh, um, being an achiever and it is a block in the first week so I've always tell people whatever is happening um, ask um, the universal angels to release you from whatever that situation is and they always release you as we look at the second week we have the energy of the lovers in the second week whatever is happening a lot of you are going to be connecting with um, wonderful partnerships and relationships and that sort of a thing here we have also the energy of the world so whatever is happening this has to do with a business partnership and that sort of a thing whenever the energy of the world comes out it's a materialistic aspect and that is where we are going to connect uh, um, with the universal beams to ask to release and yield the energy block of whatever that is happening in your life because obviously there is a block in this month to you areas with your financial um, situation and whatever that block is the energy of the world is here again with the lovers so you have to partner up with someone and that could be your spirit guides and angels and uh, um, the intergalactic and cosmic beams to help you to remove whatever blocks that has been placed in your life okay so the moon is a very intuition moon which is going to help you to connect to your inner wisdom and guidance of how you can release yourself from whatever situation so there is absolutely a block in the materialistic to manifest your materialistic situation as we move on in the third week we have a fire energy the energy of the tower that comes in to help you and this is wonderful because the tower comes in to help you to remove these blockages and then you have the the son of swords in the reverse form and I love the energy of the son of uh, swords in reverse form because whatever is happening um, the tower comes in to help you because the tower is a fire sign in the third week and the king of swords the son of swords have no more an effect on you and their changes are going to be happening because of the energy of the tower so be aware and be and realize that whenever these situation of blockages come up you have to call upon your universal angels and guides to ask you for um, help okay and as they come in they will help you with whatever situation whatever blockages uh, um, which is there as I look at the fourth week it is an air week your fire sign we have justice so whatever that was in just in your life whatever what was going on and this um, fourth week is going to affect a lot of women whatever the situation is it's going to affect a lot of women so be aware of this and be um, um, opening up whatever the situation is you have someone who is the king of swords that is going to play a role in your life and try to block you so you need to understand this and call upon your guides and angels and ask the universal angels to release you if you're having a legal suit a legal matter it's going to be taken care of and um, uh, if you um, was uh, unjustly accused of something it's going to be justified because you have the energy vibration of justice and the king of swords which is another positive outcomes from a legal situation a legal situation for the rest of the women if you have a relationship with the king of swords there is going to be a situation um, if you're um, divorcing and there it should be um, the um, uh, dividing up your assets and that sort of a thing it's going to be done in a proper way but um, you women are going to feel as if you're being um, taken out for a run so you know after this you're going to feel as if what have I gotten myself in so be aware whoever this king of sword is and whoever you are that you know there is sometimes that you have to just uh, hold the peace and just let things flow because whenever you lost something you always gain more than you have lost okay um, there's not really going to be a loss but there is just going to be a sort of an energy that yeah it's, it's driving you crazy okay 
so be aware of this because you're um, whatever has happened between you and this king of swords it's it's nasty he's a nasty person as we move on to the fifth week we have the energy of the moon the moon is a very wonderful um, this moon is very wonderful because it's your intuition it's your guides and angels coming through it is the five week is um, the, with this energy of the moon a, a lot of people are going to feel as if their intuition and their feminine energies are very heightened in this time and it's going to be good because then you'll be um, hearing your angels and guide whatever that has happened and the energy of, of the ten of swords uh, it is now um, going to be in reverse for the people who have been unjustly accused but for the people who haven't been haven't been vibrating on the high energy vibration there is going to come an end it is so it's a something uh, that you had to it's it's a karma it's a karma that you had to clear and this karma is going to be and being in end in the last week so whatever this karma was it is all coming to an end and your angels and guides are going to help you to do that so as we look at the energies we're looking at the six of Pentacles which is a wonderful energy so um, whatever is happening um, you are going to manifest the um, money that you need in your life and this is going to be extremely good so whatever the situation was whatever that you were trying to manifest in your life it's going to be manifested because you have now seen that the energy of the six of Pentacles is going to be your outcome so this is going to be um, wonderful okay as we look at this week and break down this week there is the energy of people blocking you some people will not some people will feel as if they are in scrambles and they're not seeing things clearly and a new way is going to be open up because as you call up if you feel as if you can't see things clearly and you call upon your angels and guide what that does is that they will come in and help in the third week whatever is going on with you women in the third week and especially the women that have relationships with the um, Aquarians the Libra and the Gemini people whatever the situation is that you're having relationship with these people there is going to be a balance of justice be sure that you are vibrating on in a positive energy because if you're not it's going to be the opposite okay as we look at the fourth week the fourth week is a positive week because whatever is happening in the fourth week whatever there was that people were you know working against you and that sort of a thing it's going to start lifting up whatever blockages that was there it's going to be start lifting up and then you are going to see positive positive things coming in your life which is you need that right now whatever the <clears throat> misfortune was it's going to all be okay um, sometimes these things happen so that they can teach you lessons and this sort of a thing and you're going to see that this situation is going to really become positive in your life the energy of love is not really here the energy of love comes in the form of business partner connecting with other people so that you can bring something out in your life it's all about you trying to focus on things that is going to heal your old um, um, if, um, your whole evaluation of who you are so love is not one of the most important um, situation some people are going to feel blocked and you need to call upon your angels and guides to release you from that blockage whatever is blocking a lot of people I'm getting headaches so that a lot of people are going to be having headaches and that sort of a thing and um, it's as if you're the negativity that is working against you in the last week it's going to be ended is a karmatic situation and this is going to be ended in the last week okay so you begin the month with not such of a good note because of uh, the blockage to your materialistic um, inflow and it's going to um, clear up but during the course of this month you're going to see you need to connect with your angels and guide you need to connect with your the, the, the people who have passed over in your life and uh, you're going to see a difference okay so love is not really one of your most vocal point okay 
as we look forward we are going to look at the Sun moon and rising and to see what is happening for you Aries the Sun moon and rising for you Aries I have a reverse card Sun moon and rising Aries what is happening I'm having reverse cards this is something else okay so as we refocus on your week it's that um, your um, the blockages is going to clear up you're going to have a, um, clarity to certain things so whatever blockage that you have been going through it's going to be clearing up for you Aries so um, So this is wonderful okay um, as we look at the Sun sign people what's happening for the Sun sign people for the Sun sign people we have the Burgers coming in which is going to come in in the first week to help you with whatever is going on and the Burgers are coming in which is extremely good for the Sun sign people when the Burgers comes in they are helping you um, to bring balance to certain aspect in your life what is so so wonderful is that you the Aries are here in your reading and this is going to be wonderful because whatever situation that is happening you are present it's not as if you are not present you are present and this is going to help a lot of you people because sometimes you leave yourself you are not aware of what is happening and you kind of feel lost in yourself and this is going to be good because you are going to be present so your guides and angels are, make, are making sure that you're going to be present to whatsoever is going on and this is going to be extremely good no matter whatever the situation is this is going to be extremely good they have the people who are coming in to help you is a Capricorn so whoever um, um, Capricorns people will be coming in to help you and this is good because you have two earth signs the Virgos and the Capricorns who are very good um, the Tauruses are more hard and harsh but the Virgos are very quiet intuition they works with your intuition and the Capricorns bring balance to your material world so this is going to be good so you know the Virgos and the Capricorns are going to be foremost um, who is going to help you because the Virgos come in and they're supporting you and the Capricorns are going to support in you so for you Sun people it's going to be extremely wonderful for whatever endeavor that you're about to take on so this is going to be good as we look at the moon people to see what is going to happen for the moon sign people we are um, going to take a look and see whatever is happening to the moon sign people and we have Neptune Neptune has been coming up for the planet of Neptune and the scorpions have been coming up and the Pisces so obviously for the moon people um, the people who are of the, the moon energies um, what is happening is that Neptune Neptune is a, uh, the goddess of the intuition the goddess of uh, uh, a terror information um, um, the Neptune the planet holds the information of uh, um, Atlantis and Lemuria and this is extremely good because what is happening is that um, this is going to um, awaken your intuition and your psychic abilities and this is going to be extremely good okay then we have the scorpions coming in to help you to see who your enemies are the scorpions are going to be here coming in and letting you see your enemies they're going to be um, letting you look deeper and opening up doors to let you see who um, your enemies has been and uh, you know help you to move away from this sort of a situation because you know the scorpions are very good people because they can see they are all water signs so they can see whatever is happening and 
working with the planet of Neptune you are going to see that the the scorpions are going to be really 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 opening up to show you a lot of stuff that you weren't aware of the Pisces come in to bring love and healing after this has happened because the Pisces are governed or the planet of Neptune which is a wonderful um, aspect of this so this is going to be profoundly wonderful whatever is happening you are going to see that these three en energies of the planet of Neptune for you moon people planet of Neptune the scorpions coming in and the Pisces that is going to help you with your intuition to make you see um, beyond the veil of illusions and this is going to be extremely good so whatever is happening it's not going to be one of those the the, the energy of the the earth is co governing your reading you know the energy of the hurt is governing your reading this is what is happening the lovers and the energy of the hurt is governing it with the energy of psychic so your angels and guides and the universal beams and angels that are working with you is actually actually helping you in this month okay because it's in the week of the lovers and the world is here and this is a wonderful positive um, outset because what is happening is that is as if the universe is saying to you be awaken awaken your gifts that you have your your gifts and by awakening your gifts you are going to be able to manifest a lot of stuff that you weren't able to manifest in your life the last energy that we have is from the vortex um, the vortex is one of those um, wonderful wonderful energy vibration that we have been using um, I use the vortex for the monthly reading because um, it shows you what is it that you should expect in this month and this is wonderful because it says by my um, by my attention to things I am making choices by my attention to things I'm making choices what people do not understand is that you do not choose some things by looking at it or shouting yes I would like some of that you make your choices by attending to things in this universe that is based on attraction when you look at an unwanted thing your attention to it causes an activation of the vibrational within you and then the law of attraction bring more like it into your experience so this is extremely wonderful so by paying your attention to things that you want you automatically attract them in your life I'm making and make and by that you're making a choice so this is wonderful this is perfect so again you Aries I want to say to each and every person out there um, who is vibrating on the high energy vibration whatever it is in your life or in your world it is going to be good we just need to understand how we should manifest certain things in our lives and as we understand and have that understanding we're making choices in our lives remember that the six of Pentacles is going to be your outcomes for this month and I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here and we will talk next month namaste